Is that just going to be our intro song until we get a new one? <laughs> Jesus, right? Yeah, that's our intro song now. I slam my penis in the car door. You slam your penis in the in car, the car door. door. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, whatever. Okay. Okay, me too. What if I told you? We've already started. Oh, God. Shit. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? It's your favorite rats on the Ratcast. Yeah. This, I think, is episode seven. One of them. I don't know. Time episode... is illusion. Time is a weird soup. Okay. We are really winging it today. So yeah. let's talk it's about be ratty. <laughs> <laughs> Instagram told me to stop bullying my own stuff. Yeah, I actually went on like I'm obviously deep into politics and uh care about politics quite a lot. So I accidentally stumbled upon like white supremacist dog whistles on Instagram and I commented like, like I was like this is a white supremacist dog whistle please be careful guys and f fucking Instagram was like this is inappropriate I'm like you will let the dog whistle stick around but if I fucking point <laughs> it out you're gonna get me in trouble for it fuck you fuck That's all you bitches like I'm trying to help people out here jeez fuck these platforms dude I mean, we yeah. live here, but I gotta say, they, they suck here. ass. They do be sucking ass. They do. do we Fuck want... Zuckerberg. Can I say that? Alien Markiplier ass bitch. E. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Lord Farquaad. All right. I hate e. that bitch. E. E. I had Wait, to... What does Markiplier have to do with anything? <laughs> Don't bring no, no, Markiplier no, the, into this. You know, the meme, the meme, it's like, it's Markiplier E, Lord Farquaad, Mark Zuckerberg. The whole I combination. Know. The I holy chain. that meme. You've ne I'll, I'll pull it up, I'll pull I it up. I know the E meme, and I know the Markiplier yeah, but that's meme. that's the but whole thing, the that's the whole it? thing. What? There, there's one where it's on Zuck's body. I'm missing some context here, I've never seen that you, meme. You've never seen it. Never seen it. You've never... It's this one. I'll pull it up. Hi. Bring it up. <laughs> I need I'll to see what it, the hell this I'll is. Put it down. I'll put it in the chat. Oh no, Pepper's in a mood again. Come here. Pepper's always in a mood. Oh, she's needy. She's a needy dog. Yeah, you want to sit in my chair? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to sit on my <laughs> desk? Where's the image? I placed it down. I'm waiting. Oh, <laughs> that's Mark this Zuckerberg's one. body? I have seen this. It... Yeah, that's his body. I didn't even, I missed that context. I know what it's from, too. I know that it's from the, his hearing with the government. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's from his hearing, and we put the Lord Farquaad Markiplier E meme over it. Right. Okay, got it. I just Added never associated that with the Zuck. <laughs> with the Zuck. But fuck the Zuck, bruh. He's ruining Instagram. Fuck you, Mark Zuckerberg, you piece of shit. I'm coming yeah. for everybody today. Fuck you. You are. <laughs> okay. It's like if anything, throwing it left and right. Out. True. I just, I feel hate. And war today. And I'm going to take it out on these massive creators and Mark Zuck. Mr. Zuck boy. I hate. Sick. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Kai. Epic. You know let's, what? Let's I, don't think anyone, no. I don't think anyone will disagree with me on my takes so far. No one will disagree with you. YouTube might, but YouTube, YouTube sucks might. ass. You know what? Fuck YouTube, too, on top of it all. <laughs> 
I may watch only YouTube, like almost exclusively. <laughs> I may have the one of the worst watch times known to man. But you know what? Fuck YouTube. Let's go on a lighter. We're gonna end up on we... uh, some like blacklist. Oh wait. Yeah. Wait. Uh, let's talk about the the two questions that I found that I didn't think fit on the Webtoon Wednesdays. Uh, oh yeah, let's bring those up. But we can talk about it on the Radcast. So I put them in the chat, Kai. Anything goes here. Yeah. All right. So basically, Nick the Name asked... Hey, in the background of the cast, there's a Hades poster. So do you play Hades much? And if so, who is your favorite character? I love Hades. That's my side of the of the stage here. I'm a big Hades fan. I will say I have not 100% of the game because I don't 100% anything. I can't <laughs> finish anything. But I still I haven't say... finished Resident Evil 8, to be fair. Yeah, Just it's hard to finish there. games for me. I don't know, like, I don't like the thought of finishing a game, which makes zero sense. But, you know, you know how it be. Uh, We're getting through it. I love Hades. My favorite character... This is a very good question. I love them all. But... Who is my favorite character? I have a really hard time picking, but I actually really like Chaos a lot. Um, one of our friends, when I first started playing the game, one of our friends was like, I love chaos. And I was like, who? And then I met chaos and I was like, yo, I, I, chaos. I have never played it, but it's on my, it's so you know, worth wish it. It's one of the best games I've ever played. Hands down. I'm planning to get it soon. Love it, love it, love it. So good. All the characters are so oh. likable. And there's gay in it. Just. Oh, that is a, this is, that's this a deal is breaker. This is chaos. Oh, shit. I love them. They're great. Love chaos. 10 out of 10. Excellent. That is all. That is all I have to say. Go play the <laughs> that game. That has been this. Play the game. It's on the Games Pass. The Xbox Games Pass. The games pass is ending soon, like the deal. What do you mean the the deal? one dollar deal. Oh, that's sad. That's yeah, sad. I got I an email it. about it. Just regular old. I pay for the regular price, so it's worth it. You get to play like a ton of games, and Hades is on there, and Hades is twenty bucks on its own. So I could just buy Hades though. Is it is it on Switch or no? It is. It is on Switch. Oh, I might just buy it on Switch. You should. It's so good. It's so I need to get it. a. I need to get a fucking memory card for my Switch already. Oh, same. That's like so annoying. Trouble. It's running out of room on your Switch. I have like three games on my Switch, and my Switch is crying already. Yeah, I've had but to. It's, to be fair, small. Breath of the Wild takes like everything. I had to uninstall Animal Crossing because it was taking way too much room. Yeah, I've got two chunky monkeys over there. I got Breath of the Wild and I've got Animal Crossing that are both like, you know, we take up all the space. Have you 100%ed Breath of the Wild? No, and I have three of them. What do you mean three of them? Like three saves? Twice. Yeah, I have one on... I had the Wii U edition, right? Right. And yeah, I we did almost, too. So I have the Wii U edition still. I started it back up on my Switch Lite, and then I re-downloaded it onto my, like, full Switch. I see. So I just have, like, three kicking around that I've never, I've never finished the fucking game. I've definitely played it a lot, but I've never gotten anywhere near close enough to finish it because i just i don't care about the story i just like fucking with the little goblin guys in in the woods yeah like riding my horse i don't give a fuck about the story i know i've gone into get i've gone into the castle to get loot but then i never like get go fully in i like get back out and <laughs> go do stuff gotcha like, I yeah. loot the castle, and then I dip. I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't want to finish the game. 
Have I ever been in the castle? This is the question. Because you can enter the castle and not get stuck in, like, you know, a cut, like, get stuck in the castle. Yeah. Hmm. You can loot the whole I've thing. Ever, I don't think I've ever gone into the castle. I just, I've done, I've done all of the beasts and then not done anything else. I've, like, decided, I, in my recent playthrough, I've done none of the beasts and I've just been running around on my horse. I think sick. That is all I cared about. My one of my favorite memories of playing that game is I was playing it midnight um on my Wii U like a little baby. It was it midnight playing it and I was struggling so hard with Urbosa's beast, the camel. Yeah. And I was fighting the boss. It was at that point I was fighting fighting the boss that was there and I beat it after struggling for so long. And I was, like, super excited, but I had to be so quiet. So I was just, like, oh, yeah. cheering myself on, but, like, quietly and, like, fucking throwing myself around the room. But I couldn't do anything fully to get my Feel excitement out because I was so happy. But I was like, oh, my God, everyone's sleeping in the house. Yeah. I have to be so quiet right now. I know the vibe. I know the vibe. Yeah, it'd be like that. It That's do. how... That's how I feel about when I was a kid on my DSi and I would play um, Majora's Mask. And that game, <laughs> I know it's not as hard on the DSi. The remakes aren't as hard as the original. But listen, I was still young and it was still hard. So don't bully me. I struggled. And when I accomplished something or figured something out, I was so happy. So pleased. Yes. Yes. yes yeah. yeah. Moments like those are child are core memories. Core childhood memories. making. All right, bring the second question up because I. You I needed to take a a day on this one. You I, needed like to mentally no, prepare been, for it. Okay, so it's been a week. Oh, that's not the right one. There's. It's been like I think a week since this question was left on one of our videos and yeah. I have been pondering it because I don't know what it means. I've Googled it. The Googling wasn't <laughs> helpful. I've Googled so, it. It's are you, are either of you a fan of trap of trapezoid hands, like really squarish hands? Listen, Chris Diego Baines. I don't know what the fuck that means. Damn the full name. You really hit yeah. him with the full name. I don't know what that means, homie. Like, what does it mean? I'm what guessing it means, does like... does it mean? Like, what? Literal, like, Roblox hands. Like, Roblox straight up... Hands? Well, not like Roblox hands, but like, block hands. Why not say... Give me an example, because I googled it, and I was like... I don't what? know either, but all I can say to that is that I like to make sure that my hands look like hands at the end of the day. So, I mean, I feel confused. I feel scared and confused about this question. <laughs> Does that answer your question? I feel like that's a solid answer, if that's I your answer. I feel scared and I feel confused. And I feel <laughs> like I don't know what this means. And it's it's bothered me for a while now. It's bothered me for a week it's now. haunted you. I'm being haunted by this question in my sleep. <laughs> you're like, yeah, you're, this is that meme where it's like, he's probably thinking about other girls. Meanwhile, <laughs> what are <laughs> trapezoid hands? The fuck does this mean? I guess <laughs> it must be like Roblox, but Roblox people don't really have hands. But like, no, that's what I mean, like, like blocky, like mega blocky. Ugh. I'm hurt. My <laughs> head hurt. Ugh. I'm trying to figure this out, but or, I don't is know it like mean. PS1 graphics hands? I, he didn't specify, so that's what's been throwing me off. There's been no specification here. I there's no context. We'll never know. We'll never know. I guess we'll never know. I, just need, <laughs> I, I guess I need we'll to never know. Address it because I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> so. What? Do you know the plot of Squid Game? Or have you seen it yet? 
I have not seen it. I don't want spoilers because I think I want to watch it. Everyone's been singing it. It's very high praise. Oh, it's good. And it's really good. Ty has watched it, though. So you know I what? was just going to see, would you, like, I wanted to know, would you survive? Oh, okay. Well, I want to watch it so I can figure <laughs> out if I would survive or not. Because I know this was brought up on the, the podcast of H3H3. Yeah. And I was like, I. <laughs> this don't example know what of red light, green light. I don't know what the it way means. He ran like a goblin across the screen. I think I need to watch it and then we can you talk did. about it because. You know what? Ask Kai. Kai, would you survive the squid no. game? No. Would I ask Kai if he thinks mm. I would survive? Well, would you survive and would she survive? <laughs> um, let's see. Probably I don't not. think she'd I get past wouldn't. the first one. I would not, he uh, says. I know, first, I can hear him. First one is for for Soph. Um, I th- I think Soph could wiggle her way out of it. Out of, out of red light, green light. I, I think so. Could, maybe could her way out of it. I don't know what this means. Because like, I just yeah, maybe. She let, could. Let's let's use the context if she knew what the game was. Um, just because it starts off with like a pretty the, the common, it's a common like playground game. Yeah, I, yeah. I think so. Could try harder her way out of out of the red light. Yeah, she could light. try hard. I don't think she'd make it through round two though. What's round two? Yo. Have to see it for yourself. Oh, you have to no. see it for yourself. Yes. Oh no! Am I wrong to assume think that she wouldn't? I feel like she'd accidentally like pick the hardest one. Yes, you definitely would pick the hardest, <laughs> she, the most difficult. She definitely pick the. <laughs> she'd pick the umbrella. <laughs> I like the memes that are coming out of all the different like the cookie shapes, and it's like logos yeah. of companies, and it's just There's... getting harder and harder. <laughs> I, I love seeing things. the Canadian. There's like I'm on obviously I'm on Canadian TikTok, but there's a lot of people being like if the Squid Game was in Canada and it's like coloring Nunavut on the like coloring the Canadian fl- uh the country thing and I'm just it's so fucking funny to me cuz you got to stay in the line. That's amazing. Okay. I feel well... like I'd make it past the first round, but I'd get fucked over if it was the second round maybe. Probably, most definitely. I'm gonna watch. I, I'm gonna watch Squid Game, and then I'll get back to you on whether or not I think I'll live. But I want to dress up saying, as one of them. True. Judging on what everyone's saying, it seems like I probably would get past the first round and then die in the second round. Yeah, you would die with us. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I probably wouldn't get that far. I just want to say that I'd probably pick the circle. That, I feel like I would pick choice. something like. Yeah, I feel like I'd. If I didn't know what I was getting into, I'd pick the circle too. Yo. I wouldn't want to be like, yo, umbrella. Also, sorry if this spoils anything for anybody. We're trying to be as vague as possible while. Well, not I don't exposing understand. Spoilers. Like it makes no sense. I have a, I, I don't understand, and I haven't watched it, so I, I'm a good gauge good. on whether or not it's a spoiler. That's a good gauge, yeah. I've already to be fair, had everyone's it watching it. It's it's been it's been recorded that it's the most watched Netflix series right now. True. I gotta watch so, like, it, man. Everyone knows. Ooh, speaking of Netflix series, I want to talk about <laughs> Merlin. You want to bitch about Merlin? I wanna, we haven't finished it. We have like five this episodes such, left. Can I just say this is the most obscure bitching point because I've no, never heard not. of the show. It's I've not, never heard of this show. It's not that bad, okay? It's not that I bad. I only heard this about from you. Okay, so Merlin. I'm going to talk about Merlin real quick because it's an old show. You know, <laughs> it was, you know, put out in 2008. It's super old. And it follow. it's like a, it's like a King Arthur. It's a spin on Camelot. It's made in 2008. Okay. So it's already... Low expectations, right? It's yeah. five seasons long. Each episode is like 40 minutes long. So I've sunk oh, a lot goody. of time into the stupid show. And I want to talk about it. I don't what, care what about spoiling say? this shit show, alright? I mean, it's been out for how long? I was I like... Just, 
I think anyone who's like offended by spoilers by the show Merlin needs to get their priorities in check. It and touch went some from grass. 2008 to 2012, so it's old as fuck. All right. I saw someone on YouTube talking about it in passing, like they just mentioned it, and I was like, I gotta watch this shit. So I fucking watch. I'm on season five. We're almost. I have five episodes left of the show. Uh huh. I know. I guess I'll just go on a really short tangent. So basically, the story follows Merlin, which is uh, the, like, he's the magical guy, and they kind of play on the old characters a bit, where in Camelot, magic has been outlawed by Arthur's dad, and Arthur's dad is King Uther, and King Uther is a piece of shit. He outlaws magic and he kills anyone who he even suspects of magic which in turn ends up killing people that are innocent a lot of the time and it's really hard to prove whether or not someone is a magic user so a lot of the time he just kills whoever he like lightly suspects and so the show kind of focuses on merlin who is a magic user and he's destined quote unquote by all this old um prophecy to be the the man who helps bring Camelot into a time of magic again and so the whole fucking series is about Merlin hiding his identity as a magic user but constantly saving Arthur's ass at every single point and i just want to say that Arthur, yes. Prince Arthur, sucks ass. He's a piece of shit. He treats he treats Merlin like shit, like garbage. And here's the thing. Yeah. It would be fine if he started out that way, right? He started treating Merlin like shit and then slowly over time becomes a better man. He does not get better. He constantly treats Merlin like shit, even though Merlin has saved his life so many times, countless times, countless times, Merlin has been working his ass off to keep this stupid blonde moron alive. And uh-huh. for what? Honestly, at this point, I'm like, just let him die. Just let Arthur die. Let King Uther die. Let them die and take over. Okay, so then there's <laughs> the bad guy of the yes. show who is a woman. And her name's Morgana. And Morgana is Uther's daughter. But she didn't know she was his daughter. Basically, she's his bastard child. But she didn't know that until later on in the show. She also has magic and has to hide that she has magic. So to she's like the dark to Merlin's light. And that's how the show tries to kind of frame it. Which is like... She's the bad guy, and she's the darkness of magic, and Merlin's the good guy. I just want to say, Morgana started out, all she wanted was Uther dead, and I don't blame her because Uther was a piece of shit, and to be able to live without being persecuted as a magic user. And Merlin wants the same thing, but do you want to know how Merlin does it? He does it by protecting the people that directly hurt him. And a pick me. He's a pick me. He's like, I'm not like the other magic users. I protect my my fucking abusers. And it's I'm so, the good one. I'm the good one. And I just want to say that the undertones of like Merlin and Morgana being queer people and like I think that magic in in Merlin the show represents like being gay or being queer. And, or that's like the undertones. That's the vibe I get. A lot of queer coded shows use like this prosecution, but they, it's the same way I feel like I use in my comic, which the magic represents something else. It doesn't just represent magic. It represents an idea or something that we struggle with in the modern day. And so in the show, I immediately got the vibe that it represents gay people. And it's like the prosecution of gay people, even though they're not hurting anyone. Um, yeah. 
But what I really don't like is by the time you get to the last season, after you've been through so much, Merlin has done so much and now he's jaded in the sense of like he has a hard time trusting people. Uh he which rightfully so cuz he's been through so much. Um he's just not the bright person he used to be, but he still simps for the people that are hurting him directly. Like Arthur is still a piece of shit because Arthur still hasn't out he still hasn't undone the magic ban that his dad put in place. He's a spineless little fucking shitty white boy, and I hate him. And then fucking Morgana, the one of the female leads, one of the only female leads, I want to say, uh, is the villain, and she's portrayed as just this bitter, angry witch that can't let go which in a lot of ways she is but if we look back at where she started it makes sense why she's bitter she would have died if she didn't protect herself and then we've got the other female character which is arthur's love interest her name is gwen she's guinevere and at the very last season i just want to say guinevere is someone who is like good through and through she tells the truth she protects her friends she's just a good person and she's always been a good person and that's been her character type in season five they have it where morgana tortures her and then she just becomes morgana's simp and like totally turns against her husband which is arthur at that point that sounds like a great well done plot it's so ass it's totally like it's a character assassination Gwen would never do that, no matter what. Gwen would never, ever, ever turn. And right now, I don't know if it's a magic spell, because I'm not fully finished with it. But even if it were a spell, it's portrayed as if it's not. And it's like trying to pretend like like Morgana actually turned her against everyone, which doesn't make any sense for Gwen's character. And I just... It's constant women bad. Like... The two female main characters in the show in the final season are turned against the two male main characters. And those male main characters, one of them just protects his piece of shit king. Like, Arthur is a shitty king. And everyone in the narrative is like, you're a good guy. You're a good king. Like, fuck Arthur. He needs a reality check. But my tangent is almost over. I just want to say... It sucks ass, and I know it was an, it's an old <laughs> show, but and it was not recommended, like by a group of people. No, to be like, I just oh god, found look it. at Merlin right now. I just found it, and I want to complain about it because I like to hyper fixate on things that nobody else cares about, and I'm like decades <laughs> late to. But I just, I just, I don't know how they fumbled it so hard when it's literally. It's literally a classic story. Camelot, the sword in the stone, like, it's all laid out for you. You just have to tweak with the themes a little bit. And they totally fumbled it. I'm like, how the fuck did you, the writers fumble this so hard? I just want to, like, bonk all the writers on the head. (laughs) Bonk. With hate and war, this show sucks ass. And I sunk so much time into it. But I will say there's one character that I like, and his name is Gaius, and he's the only character I like in the show. Everyone else sucks. Shout out to Gaius. Shout out to Gaius. He's the cool guy of the show. Everyone else can suck it, honestly. Okay, rant over. I'm done ranting about a show that's (laughs) ancient. That is, like, no grasp on the current, like, pop culture or anything. I don't give a fuck. I don't give everyone's a fuck about like pop culture. Hyped of, everyone's hyped about Squid Game right now, and you're like, fucking Merlin, dude? <laughs> Merlin <laughs> from 2008 to 2012? Let's talk about that. <laughs> fucking Merlin, dude? That shit's ass, everyone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that? Well, I think that the show was a symptom of, like, first of all, refusing to have gay people on a show because so many characters should have been gay and weren't. And two, refusing to hold white men in power accountable in in the narrative. That's something else that's important. 
it was like trying to make the one white dude Fair the enough. good guy. Also, uh, you know what? Never mind. I was going to bully someone for their looks, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I that can't guy. control it. <laughs> I love it. You're like, you're like, I almost went there. At least you're honest. I won't go. I won't go there. I won't almost go there. bullies someone for okay. their looks. End of story. Don't watch Merlin. It'll waste your time. Go watch Squid, Squid Game, Game instead. I'll be doing that soon. Don't worry. You should. It's really good. Don't watch the English dub. Anyone who watches that cursed English dub can go fucking die in a hole. I'm going to watch the English dub, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. What the fuck Please is wrong with you? Please watch it subbed. Please. Watch it subbed. I'm watching it dubbed, and there's nothing you guys can do about it. Now you're That's getting canceled. Terrible. Now you're getting That's canceled. That's terrible. Listen, now you're getting canceled. Do you really think that I want to sit there and read? I don't live to the read. The acting is terrible in the English dub. I, I saw love one that. TikTok. That's I saw one TikTok, and I was like, "Oh my fucking god!" That's camp. What do you mean? I'm watching it with the English dub now. I have to. That's it's so my horrible. job to be a hater. But the series is to... so good. Okay. It doesn't uh, yes. deserve this. The contrarian rule. I gotta <laughs> watch the thing no one wants to watch. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, like Merlin. Yeah. And the uh, English dub of Squid Game. I'm gonna do it. That I'll, sucks. You know what? I'll give it a shot, and then I'll probably be like, this is ass, and then I'll switch off. <laughs> yeah, you'll come back. You'll be like, never mind. Oh, oh something <laughs> I'll start else reading. I can watch. Wait, have you watched Visions yet? No. Oh my god. I'm Bruh. sorry. I can't. Getting through I'm... What If right now. I'm disappointed in you because it's. I'm so gonna good. watch it. I know. I'm, I really want to watch it. I saw the trailers and I, sh anything, I shat myself. But so there was not a single episode where I was like, "This sucks." All of them Dead are ass. good. All well, of them yeah, are good. I, like the the trailer I saw, all the animation made me go crazy. They have some really cool experimental animation in there. They've got one that looks like... I don't know if it's actually animated by the same people that animated Astro Boy, but it looks like Astro Boy. There's so many... It's got a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of different aesthetics. And yeah, because the, they, they hired like a bunch of different yeah. studios, like Studio they, Trigger and all that. I'll be honest, I was kind of disappointed with Studio Triggers after watching really? all of them. I thought Studio Triggers was kind of boring in comparison to some of the other shorts. Like, some of the other shorts were so compelling and so interesting. And Studio Triggers was like, two twins, they, uh, uh, they, uh, we, they save each other, uh, and <laughs> one is evil and one is good. And I'm like, okay, boo. Studio Trigger, do better. What is this? Uh, some of the other ones were so good, though. Not to shit on Studio Trigger, but they did make fucking... They've made some questionable content, so I think I can criticize them a little bit. That's true. Uh, but th they open it up with... They open it up with a 3D animated one, which I thought was good. And then they, they follow it up, I think, with Studio Triggers, which, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed in. I uh, like the art. Episode 2 is not Studio Trigger. It's the third episode. Yeah, the third episode. Yeah, okay. The third and the seventh episode are Studio Trigger. The seventh episode? Yep. The old man. The old man. See, I, the, I'm not a fan of the, the first one they did. The, the twins one, I actually was hyped for it. And the more I thought about it and kind of sat on it, I was like, this is boring in comparison to these other... Some of the other stories are just so good. Like, yeah. So compelling and so interesting. But uh, every I'm... single one of these is just beautiful. Oh yeah, all of them are beautiful. And that's the thing. I'm nitpicking because ultimately they're all good. And they're all different flavors and different takes on the Star Wars universe. Like there's one where there's a rock band. There's a rock. Okay. It follows a rock band in the Star Wars universe. And it's so good and so fun. And so lighthearted, even though it's like in a dark setting. It's so good. I just go watch 
Star Wars Visions. I, I will. Go watch it. And that goes for the people listening, too. It's Why are you listening to the Radcast when you could be watching Star Wars Visions, you know? Yeah, God. It's so good. We watched it not dubbed. I want to say that. Kai asked. Smart move. Kai's the one who made that executive I peeped, decision. I peeped, like, the uh, overdub, like, the overlaid dub. I'm like, oh, it's not matching with the lip sync. It's got to be in Japanese. And sure enough, it was. Yeah, uh, I... I can I watch a lot of animes dubbed, but I can't watch people dubbed. That's what Kai was saying, too. I guess I don't mind it too much if I'm working while I'm listening, because... I don't I don't want to have to read shit and I want to get stuff done while I watch it. Which is why That's I... why I've been that's why I've been consuming Squid Game slower. Like I think I'm only on episode like yeah. 6 or 7. Um cuz I that's need to hard. I need to watch the series. I can't just like work and watch. Right. It's hard But I to... want to do that because I'm actually getting more engaged with the fucking show, so yeah, me and Kai sat down and watched Visions last night, and it was worth it. It was super worth it. So good. So fucking good. I want to say, let me look at the, I want to say what my favorite episode is. Because there were so many winners, but I want to say that I have a favorite. I'm looking it up. Hold on. I I find it interesting that they did push studio triggers the most when I feel like it was one of the weakest. Might have just been the look because of the style the, is so similar aesthetic, to that one show that they've been pushing. Yeah, the aesthetic. Oh, um, Promare or the, something? The gay twinks? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Promare. Which I have not watched for the record. I haven't either. I just saw it everywhere. Well, I like the Astro Boy, the Astro Boy one a lot because I feel like we don't see a lot of anime that gets popular that has that kind of energy. Yeah, that's the Science Saru. Yeah, they it's they the did a great studio. job. They did such a good job. I loved it so much. It was so lighthearted, but so cute, so well animated. Loved that. Oh, I just sneezed. Good job. I just, I just peed in my basement. <laughs> peed in my basement. There's one with a furry character that I got really invested in, too. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one was really good. They're all good. I, I have a really hard time picking a favorite, for sure. Uh, anyways, so... <laughs> anyways, so... Um, big boobs. Big boobs. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a snippet from the first episode. Like, it's it's popping. Yeah. Yeah. It's popping. Wait, that's I've seen the duel. From the... That's fan art. Oh. That's not... That's not because it's 3D animated. That's a snippet from oh, here it. Here it is. Here's a snippet. Yeah, I've seen the I've seen the bits of the duel on TikTok. Uh, yeah, it's super good. I loved that shot where he catches the yeah. lightsaber in between his hands with the force. I honestly, I I can't believe that there are people who, I, and I still haven't seen evidence of it, but I'm sure it exists, of people complaining about how asian it is like people oh, wait you haven't complain. you haven't seen that tiktok i've seen the tiktok Bro, of someone what? addressing the complaints but i haven't seen anyone actually complaining about it because i have just like people have been complaining uh, allegedly i have not seen evidence of it but people have been complaining about how asian it is like they're like mad that Japanese influence was so heavy in Star Wars Visions because I mean, like, let's face but it. But they're that the what they're anime though, like it's they, they're Japanese well, studios. Also, the Star Wars series, a lot of the aesthetics of Star Wars were taken from old Japanese movies, like 
yeah. it's taken like George Lucas has outright said he's taken inspiration from old movies from Japan. To to yeah. deny that is like straight up racist. But uh, I've seen a TikTok where someone was like breaking that down. But I have not seen any evidence of anyone complaining about it. So I don't know if that's a really small minority of like racist white sniveling Star Wars fans that have nothing better to do than complain about how there's anime versions of Star Wars now. Like, bruh. Who fucking cares? It's so good. I love having the Japanese influence on the Star yeah. Wars universe. It fits so well, and the way that a lot of the uh, studios animated, like, a katana saber is so Bruh, sick. that's sick. Like, a fucking lightsaber katana. There's so many of the studios that decided to do that, because I guess they were like, this is something that's missing, and I, we want to see it happen. And a lot of them had the same idea, and I'm so glad they did. It looks so good. It looks sick. I love it. That's a sick concept, yeah. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I like the Japanese influence on the Star Wars universe. I think it's needed for sure. Hell yeah. Is there anything you want to complain about? Um, I don't know if I have any complaints for today. I haven't uh, watched anything or consumed any media that's made me need to complain i wish that were me no i don't i like complaining (laughs) i like bitching (laughs) only Uh, other topic on the list is cookie run oh yeah cookie run what is there to even say we're we've got we're fucking addicted to the highest degree yeah. To the point where my grape cookie looked like a mangled mess. Yeah, you want to have Kai bring that image up? <laughs> yeah. Playing cookie run one morning, super casually, this morning to be exact. I wanted to just get my daily bounties in. And my cookies were all looking just fine, except for one. <laughs> one of them looked like a fucking... Creepy pasta. Like I don't know. I don't even know how that how you manage that because it's. I don't even know either. Like don't sometimes worry. I'll have weird glitches where the like. There. The, oh, there poor, he is. Poor <laughs> little crepe guy. Cookie. Crepe cookies <laughs> mangled. What I don't. I, the worst part was because I posted other screenshots. I did a whole match with him like that. It didn't affect. Like I, it didn't affect it didn't him te- fighting, but it made. No, him he look- fought normally, but I started. <laughs> I opened the game, and he looked like this because I needed, I needed specifically you defense, this- bomber, I- and support. Can I just say it reminds me of like the AI generated art? Yes, that's what it looks like. It looks like they you fed pictures <laughs> of parfait or crepe cookie to, like, an AI, and then you had the AI try to rebuild. And this is what you ended up with. Yeah, like, I even unselected him and reselected him, and he looked exactly the same, so I was like, Mm. you know, I'm tired, I don't care, let's just get this over with and figure this out afterwards. I I am... It do look like you you broke down every texture bit, bit by bit, into a series <laughs> of images, and you just fed it into a randomizer. Yeah. Then you call yeah. it a day. I and then say, there's a shot I'm, of him in action. I'm jealous of your squid cookie. He does... The, my squid cookie does so much damage. I know. I every love I that against, little boy. Every time I go against someone in the arena with squid cookie, I sweat, because I know... Half of my health is gonna get chugged from his alone. <laughs> yeah, the like smacking Squ- yes. squid cookie is a, a nightmare, and I love that I have them on my on my side. They were my first drop. I'm so happy. I know. I remember early on you got the squid cookie. I have so many like epics, but as we've discussed personally, we neither don't have of us. Computers. 
We don't have healers. I don't have any good healers. I have to use a stupid little prince cookie, and I hate him. I hate him. I never use my. I never use my prince. I've given up. I only use Actually, the mint choco. I use pomegranate cookie now because yeah. I'm fed up with anyone else and pomegranate. I see a. I see a person who's got in the battle arena because I'm trying to get to diamond the next level, and I right. see someone with fucking a healer and i'm like i can't win that it's hit that point they'll have like a good level that i could beat them at too like they're at like i'll be at level 60 and they could be at level 55 and i'm like i could beat that and then i see that they have like vanilla cookie and i'm like i can't beat that to be honest are you crystal one yes i'm crystal two i'm trying to battle my i'm halfway to um i'm halfway to the next level Boo, you whore. <laughs> With my gaming addiction. I'm playing right now as we speak in the arena. Fucking asshole. I can't even, This is bullshit. This is unfair. I can't even play right now. Ha, it's because I got a desktop, I got an iPad, and I got a phone. Chaos. I'm going to continue to draw my sexy vampire cookie. Oh my god. So we drew... We both... Okay, so he, <laughs> he did a little sketch... Of what's her face? Raspberry cookie. Raspberry cookie, and he sent it in our Discord, and I was like, "What the fuck, you? I need to draw fan <laughs> art now," because I had already been thinking about it. Like the second I started playing this game, I knew I was gonna make fan art for it, and I'm not a big on fan art, so that's a big feat to like get me to do that. Yeah, and I, you were already beating me to the punch, so I immediately tryhearted and sat down and drew clover cookie because i think clover cookies design is just wow so i mm. of course do that and then i see a little sneak peek of his vampire cookies drawing and i'm like great i've been outdone there's no way <laughs> do you want to see this next update i shaded his abs yeah let me see let me let just me see grab it really quick I'll put it in our space. Why did you have to make him so sexy? For what? Because I wanted to. I had a vision. You had a vision. You know what? I wonder if this is an untapped market, but... Oh my god! And you did this for what? (laughs) so sexy. Look at him. God damn it. This is some bullshit. (laughs) Get out done, motherfucker. Oh, there's mine! Clover cookie. Yours is very cute. Yeah, I whipped it up real quick. I gotta say, switch back to his. I don't care about mine. I want to see his again. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> and you did this for what? I added jewelry because, uh, honestly, vampire cookie looks like the kind of person that has like a shit ton of jewelry on. Oh yeah, yeah. He's dripping out. He's definitely He's tripped his fuck. Yeah. I love your I'm... take on it. Thank you. I was going to say an untapped market is um, cookie run, not safe for work content. <laughs> that is true. That's an untapped market. I feel market. like the market's going to get picked at soon. I feel like I need to get in on that while the market's still small, you know? Oh, yeah, true. But... Catch it, cash in on that. I got so much rain. to do, dude. I got so much to do, so little time. I if I don't make... get a single a piece of a nugget of attention from the Cookie Run community on Twitter when I post this, I will be kind of offended, and I will sue. I was kind of sad at how little uh, attention mine got, because I, I don't know if it's because he's not Clover Cookie's not like one of the most popular cookies, or if it's because... My account has just been like crying. My Instagram account has been crying lately, but maybe yeah. I don't know. I've been having a lot of not. I haven't had a ton of luck posting on Instagram as of late, and I know they're. I'm planning to go for the... Yeah, they're prioritizing the fucking their wannabe TikTok content, which their TikTok content, quote unquote, sucks ass, and they need to just stop. 
I know. I never look to TikTok reel, not TikTok reels, Instagram reels for like comedy or anything. If I want to watch TikTok, I'll watch TikTok. Exactly. Why the fuck do I care about like Mark Zuck trying to get in on the TikTok trend? Or like, someone's bruh. reposted TikToks on their re. On Which their I Instagram. do that. I do that, but like. But you know what I mean? Like, I'll just yeah. go watch it on TikTok. Where it's TikTok's a higher algorithm. quality. Yeah, TikTok's algorithm's way better, and Instagram sucks pee pee. So, what? What am I going to say? You're getting into like 50 fights. I. Sniper Wolf, YouTube, and Facebook, and Instagram. And Merlin. Fuck Merlin, too, on and top Merlin. of the <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> I forgot about Merlin. That's how much I care about this series. Listen. I wonder if people are going to start caring more now. People are going to hear me complain about it and be like, I the gotta Merlin watch this Merlin IMDb shit. score, like the IMDb fucking traction on Merlin just suddenly wonder... spikes here. Merlin From its IMDb. Zero. Speaking of TikTok, our TikTok is launching soon. Oh, yes. Nice. Our TikTok Plug is that shit. Out. Our TikTok is the Ratcast TV. So we will or be posting TikToks there. The Ratcast, you'll be able to find us. And I will, it'll also be in the description down below. People rated it a 7.9 out of 10. This shit deserves like a 4 out of 10. And share your opinion. <laughs> oh, God. I am. I intend on doing uh, so. Rotten Tomatoes gave it an 85%. They're dumb. They're Not only they're dumb, but they're bad and they're dumb and they're stupid. And anyone who thought this shit was good <laughs> is dumb. Jesus. I'm almost done with it. I've watched the whole thing. I was invested. I'm allowed to be like, this sucks ass. That's so funny. This is one of my top five. This is one of my top three favorite shows. I have trouble with picking which one's better, so they're all tied. There's really something for everyone: amazing adventure, laugh out loud comedy, beautiful love stories, in- in- intense drama, etc. Nope, they're they're wrong on all of that. They're incorrect. They're just wrong. Your taste in, <laughs> in content is ass. Whoever said that, this fuck you. This show is simply amazing. I watched it from the first to the last episode. It had my heart pumping. And pumping the suspense would make me think I would die the very next moment. This show, no, it the didn't. show is one of no, my, it did not. One of, one that never be easily forgotten by anyone who watches it. It's I've already, I might as well have already forgotten. Favorite. The only reason why it's in my brain still is because I haven't finished it and I'm mad at it. <laughs> these people I love are wrong. These, reviews. these are funny. Fuck these people. They don't know what they're talking about. They suck ass. I've enjoyed watching Merlin since I was 13 years old in tw- uh, oh, 2013. It's, Even it's, now in 2021, I'm 21 years old and I still fe- it still feels like. Uh, it's nostalgia. Still feel as much excitement as I did with the, all those years ago. No, you guys are wrong. You're fucking yeah, wrong. That's just my favorite show. Absolutely oh amazing and magical. God. It was a roller coaster of mixed emotions. Funny, thrilling, scary, drama, and heart melting. These people are dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm coming for y'all's wigs. Y'all suck. I'm looking at the reviews what? here. Yeah. People are writing it so, so high, and it's not good. Who, who did this? These are like. Ugh. I found one that's more your your taste. This show is extremely mediocre. The lore is pretty great, but I have to admit, yeah, the show, and I'd have to admit the show is pretty engaging. But I literally, but it's literally brain freeze. Well, the same shit goes on forever and ever. There's no actual character growth. So I agree that the lore, I actually liked the lore and the magic system. And then there's like a play on suppressing the old religion, quote unquote, which is the religion of magic and the religion of protecting like nature. And yeah. uh, that is sick. I love that. But the characters and the way they just, like, refuse to take any risks with their characters, unless it's, like, a terrible risk that makes no sense for the character. Yeah. They had a yeah. system. They had a framework. 
and all they did was keep feeding new ideas into the same machine and then we'll just wrap it up and call it a season yeah just keep re repeat Next like they season, would never same framework they never ideas. improved they never improved the dynamic between merlin and arthur which i think was essential to make arthur a likable character but they just never did but anyway i'll stop ranting about it you got me started <laughs> up on this again Fuck Merlin. And anyone so who, about it. You know what? Anyone who thinks it's a good show, fuck you. You don't know what you're talking about, and you're wrong. Why is the related show Stranger Things? It's not even remotely like Stranger Things. Not <laughs> even remotely. Is, no, no, this is funny. It's like related to Merlin and Game of Thrones. Merlin, Viking series, Game of okay. Thrones, Stranger Things. <laughs> Stranger Things is... Not make sense at all. That's so out of just nowhere. I want the next season of Stranger Things to just finally fucking come out. I'm so tired of waiting for things like this. <sighs> Wait, what? The next season is in coming out in 2022. Of, oh, of Stranger Things? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't give a shit about Stranger Things. I'll be honest. I'm invested. The moment know. they tried to push the romance between two that kids, I was like, you know Spoiler what? Alert. Fucking don't it's care. Been out. <laughs> it's been out. If you haven't watched it and you haven't seen the two kids be weirdly romantic together, then I don't know what to tell you. Regardless, that lost me. I stopped watching. I was like, I don't care about these little kids liking each other. Please let me out. Get me out of here. I stopped watching after that. I was over it. Not interesting enough for me to stick around. Fair enough. I'm a hater. What can I say? Yeah. That it's is my, my dislike. You know what else we need to watch and then talk about? What? We need to watch Q-Force and talk about it. Oh, fuck. We're too <laughs> gay people. Just We're too emotionally gay people. cute. I remember seeing the trailers for it, and I well, wanted to... Well, according to TikTok, this it's so actually cute. better than what the trailers did. And according to TikTok, and a lot of YouTubers, too, uh, they purposely tried to... Netflix purposely tried to make butchered it Butchered the bad. marketing. They butchered the marketing. Yeah, yeah they did it on purpose. It was a pur purposeful butchering. They pushed um, the things yeah, that were satire um, and then framed it like that was... Like, not satire. But I will say there have been people who said they don't like it, too. So I want to watch it and make up my own mind about it. Yeah, same. I'm willing to watch it and give my own opinion on it. It's just um, I haven't wanted to watch it. Uh, I've also have all. not wanted to watch it. But I think for to be content... Fair, it was it wasn't for content i'll do it but i think it was also just like the way that the show looks i don't really like the cast doesn't have anyone i would really like in it yeah, currently the... from what i saw it just because that's another thing that uh i always see and i always have a problem with whenever people do like these kinds of things where it's like it's for the whole of the lgbt i'm like you're not gonna catch everyone so don't act like you're gonna okay you're not going to get every type well, of person in the, the marketing. I don't think that the show is trying to say that. I think that was 100% Netflix yeah. marketing. And Netflix, I think, purposefully tried to... Oh, probably. They definitely tried to nosedive it. Well, they do that with queer shows. They do it on purpose. Yeah. So I'm going to watch it, make up my own mind about it, but that'll be in and the we future. we can bring it back for the content. For the content, baby. Who knows? We might like it. Maybe. Uh, I'm or we'll hate it. I'm open to it. I'm, open I'm also to it. open to it. I'm a little more open to it because I know how these streaming sites treat queer content. And so I'm always willing to give that a chance more than anything else. I'm a yeah. lot harsher on everything else. I mean, I'm still critical, but I understand that they could have been d done dirty in the marketing. I'm open to it. Yeah. Um... What else can we cautiously about? optimistic? What else could we complain about? I this slammed my just penis in the car, in the car door. door. You <laughs> slammed your penis in the car in door. In the car door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's not, I mean, we can definitely yeah watch Q Force. 
come back with our takes on it. What else have I been doing lately? What other content have I been watching? Oh, let's talk about since this is a just a podcast to talk about the H three podcast. We just we're are... eight. We're waiting until they notice us. We're flagging them. We're oh no. They'll never notice us. Let's no. just. I wish they would. Maybe we should make fan art and really be. I do have that A B fan art that's been sitting out, and he did complain that he's gotten no fan art. Oh my god! About. When he cried about that, I was. I'll be honest, I was cringing. I was like, A.B., shut up. There's so much fan art out there. Don't cry so about many. it. They just shut didn't pick up. any for you. Shut up. You're being a whiny little baby. A.B. is the only one I have fan art of though right now. Bruh. I, I think I need to make fan art for the crew. I I am really excited about um, the leftovers. leftovers. Yes, yes. Bro, the when they brought bad? up the cussy, I was like, yeah, this is going to be great. Oh, when they brought up the cussy, I was like, <laughs> this is a lot for me. This is this is exactly what I expect from them together. Yes. I will say, like, we've talked about this. Um, whoever brought the image up so quickly, what the fuck? <laughs> so that's, ever, in I, the, that's in their files <laughs> if i could like i know that one day i want to get the balls to like call in during their live show yeah. i want to just ask who the fuck had the cussy on fucking who speed dial had the cussy on speed dial i want to know who's the sussy <laughs> one who's the it, sussy one it's not one? dan it would not be dan no, uh, my theory is that it's either love, love or Ian or Ian because those two know internet culture and know where to look. What if it was Hassan the whole time? Hassan like speed like he already had it saved and he sent it to them like prior to the ready. show starting. That nah, wouldn't surprise that, me. That seemed like it wouldn't surprise me, but it seemed like he just brought it up because he was talking no. about bussies. Yeah, it seems like it was a natural conversation that yeah. just kind of happened to go so into So it's got to be either Ian or Love. Love oh, is the high give, suspect. We should give context to people who don't watch H3. Um, <laughs> Cussy is car pussy. Specifically, like cars... from the Cars universe. <laughs> from the Cars universe. And they, during the H3 podcast with Hassan Piker and Ethan... Fucking from the H3 podcast, they Ethan, talk Ethan about Klein. Ethan Klein. I don't know. I don't remember his name. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I've always used. I want to say like Ethan and Ela, but Ela's not there anyway. Uh, yeah, he brought up Cussy, and Ethan was like, "What the fuck is that?" And he was like, "Car Pussy." Well, he, and then he brought up means... Bussy first. He brought, he brought up Bussy, and he was. Like... Yeah, yeah, and then he had to explain what a bussy was, and then he was like, well, you, it's also just like an internet thing where you put in, put anything in front of it, like cussy, car pussy, and then, it, and then they brought a visual up. And then they immediately brought a visual up. It was like, it was not like, missing a beat. It was like 10 no seconds after. No hesitation, too, to show what a car pussy looks like. Which, it's the, the exhaust pipe. <laughs> Which, That's all I'm going to say. It's the exhaust yeah. pipe. I don't know how they're going to keep that up. Get your imagination up for that one. Or just Google are they going to keep that up? How is that appropriate? Is it still up? Uh, it's got to be up. What, like, is that chunk still up? I don't know. It would be tragic if they lost that piece of excellent media. It would media. be fucking... It would be so uh, yeah. sad. Is that episode demonetized? Maybe. I mean, they are talking a lot, a lot of politics and how someone, people are hogs. So I wouldn't be surprised it's if it's demonetized. That, uh... But I'm more worried about the cussy part. And how that had the possibility of being taken out. Yes. Yes. 100%. Yes. The poor cussy. Not the that cussy, threat. dude. Not the cussy. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, anyway, go watch Squid Game and go watch H3 Podcasts. Why are you even here? 
Yeah, why are you here? What, Listening what to us here? talk about random things. Today's episode of the Ragcast has been me sponsored complaining. Sponsored by Cookie Run. Oh yeah, com- no it hasn't. It hasn't been sponsored episode by Cookie has been Run. been sponsored by Merlin. Please, Cookie <laughs> Run. If anyone could sponsor us, I would want it to be Cookie Run. Please, I'm begging you. Same. Fuck Genshin Impact. Oh, we can talk about Genshin Impact. Have you seen... <laughs> Have you seen how people have treated Genshin in the last week? What's happening with Genshin? So, Genshin's anniversary was, like, this week. And they decided to shaft all of their players and give them very little primo gems for the anniversary. Which is so fucked, because people who are, like, have been playing, have been loyal players to their shitty game, are, like... Where's our rewards for playing your game? And MiHoYo, which is the developers, were like, I don't know. How about you make a cosplay or fan art of us and maybe we'll give you like 100 Primo Gems. So you know what the fan base did? They went to the fucking Apple Store and the just the App Store in general for for everyone across the board android store android whatever the fuck it's google, google, play store? google i don't use that shit i don't care i'm apple forever baby but they go to fucking they go to the app stores and they dislike bombed it they they review bomb that shit it's at oh. 1.9 the last time oh, i checked oh no they said, "Really? Fuck you, you stupid pieces of shit." On my Go other look. phone, I'm going Go to look. Go look. So it's in, de- like in the stores. They did that in the store on the like little review where it says how many stars it is. Last time I checked oh, on the shit, app, oh shit, it's three stars in the. Yeah, that's still super low. Yeah. People are trying to bring it back up. There's like simps, miHoYo simps that are like, bring it back up. No, you know what? Fuck miHoYo. I'm on the warpath today. miHoYo deserved it. Those pieces of shit should have known. Hey, we already like basically have an abusive relationship with our fucking players. We don't reward them for jack shit. So why don't we just like also rob them of any excitement for our anniversary and make them make free content to promote our shit and expected everything to go well you dumb motherfuckers you should have known <laughs> they should have fucking known that their reviews are getting deleted yeah because um it's being marked as spam because there's so many reviews coming in yeah uh That's but so funny though i mean they deserve it. I really do think they deserve it. For context, I played Genshin Impact the first two months that it was out. I didn't get Klee. I pulled, didn't get Klee. I had spent over $100 in the stupid game. And you know what I said? I said, no more. No more of this abuse. And I quit. And I stopped. And then, recently, I started playing Cookie Run. And Cookie Run is a gotcha game too, but Cookie Run gives you gems. I can do a pull at least like once a day. Yeah. So, MiHoYo and Genshin Impact, you can make a pull maybe once a week if you do everything that they want you to do. So, you know what? Fuck MiHoYo. Fuck Genshin Impact. You dumb motherfuckers should have known better. You should have treated your, your players... Like homies, and you shafted them, and that's what you get. Because there's like many ways to consistently make gems. Yeah, on especially on our when little... you like get the tropical island stuff. Yeah, with with Cookie Run, the the literally the reason I started playing is because people on TikTok were like, I I quit playing Genshin and I started playing Cookie Run because at the very least they give you enough gems to actually make pulls and get characters. Genshin deliberately like holds it over your head and then doesn't give you shit and expects you to like spend hundreds of dollars on their dumb shitty subpar game. What I mean, I'm just I am on a warpath today. You are and, uh, on a warpath. I will say 
I do love the fan content for Genshin, and I want to say I am not coming for Genshin fans. I understand. They make a lot of they make a lot of amazing con- like a lot of fan art that I've seen. I share it I all like the time. Is Genshin? I'm, I love the content that the fans create, but I want to tell you guys the fans that are making fan art for Genshin, leave them. You don't. You deserve. You deserve better than to be abused. Stop being in like this relationship. This. This is a toxic relationship, and you need to get out. Just play Cookie Run instead. Intervene. Yeah. As Cookie Run who... is such a good melting pot for that those types of artists, too, and for just artists in general, because it's really simplified characters with oh, the art designs is so good. that can... Yeah, with designs that can easily... You can look at and be like, I want to reimagine this in my style. And the game is nice to you. The game does not abuse you. For playing it actually rewards you for playing you know yeah you're not bullied i will say there's a lot less to do i think because i know genshin got a ton of updates and they have like a bunch of new things you can do you can like fucking build a little house area i don't know there's stuff you can do in genshin that i wasn't around to play but i want to say Cookie Run is better. It's just better. Cookie Run is just a... Yeah, it's a decent, casual mobile game. If you want to get the gotcha itch, but you actually want to make pulls that get you good characters and you don't want to be abused, play Cookie Run. Once again, Cookie Run, sponsor us, please. Sponsor us, please. I'm I'm begging you. I'm batting for you out here. I'm on my knees here. I've got, like, at least five people to play this stupid game. Please. (laughs) <laughs> I'm on my knees here. Please. I'm fighting for my life out here. Sponsor us. With our 100 views that we get. <laughs> with our e- very small amount of audience. Hit us up. Come on, man. Come you on, know you man. Want Come on, man. You know you want. It's like they're like, no, we really don't. I mean, I'll probably still talk about them, even when they don't sponsor us, because it's We're my brain addicted. rot. We're addicted, yeah. It's the brain rot. But, uh, it's what else? to start yeah, wrapping up at this point. This is a good time to say goodbye to the gamers. All you degenerates watching this, this podcast right now. Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't. Rats. I haven't. I spent the whole time complaining about things nobody cares about. I swear. (laughs) But you know what? I hope I was entertaining. Hell yeah. (laughs) I mean, I was entertained, so. Bango was entertained. That's all that matters. That's all that really matters. (laughs) At the end of the day. Anyways, go watch our TikTok when it comes out. Yeah. Um, Kai's been gonna... working his butt off on that. Kai's shouts out. Been really putting it all together, and it's looking really cool. I'm really excited for it to come out on TikTok. Uh, read our comics. <laughs> Summoning Boo on Canvas and Hybrid on Canvas. What are you Hell doing? Yeah. Why haven't you read our comics yet? What's wrong with you? Why are you just watching us and not reading our comics? Our comics Rude. are what we're known for. What the fuck? That's all I'm known for. Rude. Dear God. Um, hey, but to the people that, that have read it, you the ones. Yeah, you, you're the real ones. The real shout, out to, shout out to the homies to that you read our comics. Uh, or don't you guys read get them. Your own shout out. You know, yeah, get the shout out. Um, oh, please send more com more comments about questions ask us questions i love answering your questions like trapezoid hands i will say when you ask something so vague maybe expand on it <laughs> no. no 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 keep it as vague as possible no. so it haunts us in dreams i don't want to be haunted by trapezoid hands let us be haunted brain. for the weeks to come no, about please what don't. a trapezoid hand means if it's about trapezoid hands, about I'm not going to answer. Fearful shit. I'm not going to answer if it's about trapezoid hands. <laughs> I'm just saying you right now. 
And comment uh, down below: Would you survive the sh the Squid Games? Oh, true. Would true. Oh wait, ask. Wait, how? What? Who do you think would actually survive the Squid Games? Which one of us would survive longer? Yo, true. What? What would we get? Pin us against each other again. Yeah, that's our brand. This is actually just frenemies rebranded. <laughs> that's all this is. But, Even though uh, we're not. No, we're not. We're homies. Brumies. Shout out to Shout out to Cussy and uh <laughs> Shout out to Cussy and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next week. All right, bye guys. Thank God. Cussy.